Cute Bites includes everything you need to quickly set up your treat cam in a couple minutes. It's a snap to set up. First, power up your Pet Cube Bites. To do so, plug one end of the USB-C cable into the left side of the Pet Cube Bites and the other one into a standard outlet using power adapter provided with a camera. The light on the Pet Cube Bites should turn solid yellow. This means the device is starting. It may take about 40 seconds for the light to start blinking green, which means you're ready to move to the next step. Next, download the free PetCube app from the App Store and launch it. You can log in with your PetCube account if you have one already, or create a new PetCube account. Alternately, you can log in using your Facebook account. Once you're signed in, you can connect PetCube Bytes to your account. Select PetCube Bytes from the list of options and follow the on-screen instructions. Keep in mind that you may be asked to turn on Bluetooth. Now you'll be prompted to identify your PetCube device. Tap Select below the PetCube Bytes picture. As soon as the light on the device starts blinking green rapidly, hit Next to go to the next step. Just one final step is left. That's to connect PetCube Bytes device to your home Wi-Fi network. If you are using a hidden Wi-Fi network, you will need to add it manually. Keep in mind that PetCube doesn't support 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks. Congratulations! Your PetCube Bytes is ready for action. Check out our help page for more tips. Hey, I'm Mandy with PetSafe and I'm here today to share with you some great training tips and advice on how to use the automatic ball launcher. And with me I have Michelle Mullins, our in-house certified professional dog trainer. With the automatic ball launcher turned off, allow your dog to approach the launcher and explore it. 
Start by practicing some things your dog already knows, like sit or lay down. Begin at a distance and gradually move closer, as long as your dog is comfortable. If your dog is relaxed while training and playing near the automatic ball launcher, you can start getting him used to the sounds it makes when it launches the ball. Again, start at a distance and watch his reaction when the launcher beeps and launches the ball. Move closer only when he is relaxed and doesn't seem concerned about the noises. Because of the safety feature of the motion sensor on the automatic ball launcher, you'll want to teach your dog to stand to the side of the launcher before you begin. In order to do so, take your tasty treats and stand with your dog in the position you'd like them to start in. Once the ball launches, you can encourage them to begin the chase. You can even train your dog to return the ball to the launcher themselves and drop it in. Teach your dog to drop the ball by trading him a tasty treat for each time he drops the ball. Place your hand underneath his mouth so the ball drops into your hand. Then begin placing your hand over the hopper to encourage your dog to drop the ball directly into the hopper. Fade out the use of the treats and your hand once your dog is consistently hitting the hopper. This will take a few training sessions. The automatic ball launcher has nine distance settings and six angle settings. Right out of the box, it'll be set at the very lowest setting. There are multiple safety sensors to keep you and your pet safe, such as the motion sensor on the front of the launcher, the ball detection sensor in the launch pocket, and the 15 minute rest feature to keep your pet from overworking themselves. You can use the ball launcher with the included power adapter or you can use 6D batteries to take it on the road. And it also has this portable handle in case you want to carry it with you to the park. Thank you for watching our training tips video. We hope it will help you and your dog get the most out of playing with the automatic ball launcher.